So many people ask me, what is customized decompression and what benefit is it? Well, the good thing is that in the way that I think of it is that no two persons are the same. And in the decisions that we make, we don't really buy cars that all look the same, we don't buy homes that all look the same, and there's even more diversity in our appearance. So when we think about what surgery we want to do for patients who either have blepharoplasty that's gone bad and have prominent eyes or just have prominent eyes in general that are painful or suffer from thyroid eye disease, we we'll often think of how we can customize this approach. The first step in customizing an approach is to think about the foundation. And the building of the foundation is the decompression. And in many cases, I don't remove any bone or I may remove lots of bone. It all depends upon customizing for your needs. And each patient is very different, so that customization process is very different for each patient. However, I can say that I've virtually eliminated lower eyelid surgery from my practice, at least 95%. By doing a customized decompression, we can minimize the number of surgeries and the number of steps, at least in thyroid eye disease, from anywhere from six to eight surgeries to one or two. This is an example of a skull that shows the various areas that are outlined in different colors. The green is called the deep sphenoid, and that's the area that really allows the eye to move back. And if we take away a little bit of that bone, green, that means the eye goes back. The area labeled ZB in blue is an area called the basin. That's an area that when taken out, when that bone is removed, it allows the eye to come down just a little bit in the orbit, which means that relatively speaking, the eyelid comes up, and that's reducing any kind of white that shows between the eye and the eyelid. This is often a dramatic improvement in taking out this little bit of bone, uh, even with or without other forms of decompression, can dramatically reduce that lower eyelid retraction or the white under the eyes and allow people to close their eyes so much better. The bone shown in pink, called the SL, that's an area that's on the superior portion of the bone. A lot of people have a lacrimal gland that pops out and that looks very bulgy. A lot of times I'll remove that for patients because that allows their lacrimal gland to come back and makes their eyebrow look much softer and much nicer in appearance. And then of course the medial wall which opens into the sinuses and that can be very useful for patients who have much worse disease such as thyroid eye disease and require a larger decompression. By removing bone in different places it allows us to move the eyes in three dimensions. So if the eye is very prominent, removing bone in the green area allows the eye to come back, but removing bone in those other areas allows the eye to shift in whatever direction we may want. And this can be really important. For example, when someone looks at their lower eyelids and their eye, you can often see a lot of white showing and a lot, and things just don't look quite normal. We've been able to map by doing contour analysis, the, not only the position of the eyelid and how much white is showing, but all along the curvature of the eyelid, which actually is much more important because that's what patients notice in conversation and looks a little off or strange. And this work allows us, and for the first time, allows us to look at the entire eyelid and to see what decompression can do. This slide shows how we can use a lateral decompression and a little bit of a basin removal to restore essentially a normal eyelid architecture. And you can tell that just by looking at the photos, but in the, in the grid what you can see is that we've gone from having a line or an eyelid that's in the red to now in the blue, which is much more in the normal range. Thus, the eyelid looks normal, functions normal, and the patients are typically much, much happier and better off. We've also been able to show that the more we bring the eye back or lower the eyelid, it gets rid of this whiteness under the eye or eyelid retraction. And this is especially important in patients who have thyroid eye disease and can't close their eyes, or if there have been surgeries such as a blepharoplasty, or even some per people who were just born with relatively prominent eyes. That by moving the eyes back and then potentially adding a little bit and removing a little bit of the basin, we can get rid of this white showing underneath, above the eyelid, underneath the eye, and really reduce the appearance of prominent eyes. So I hope this at least gives a very brief description of how we can do a customized decompression 
to modify the position of the eyelid. And this can often reduce the surgeries and the amount of manipulation needed by, by three or four fold. And again, we can go from eight surgeries or six surgeries down to just one or two by using these customized methods.